Hi everyone, Shawty78 here for the Rough Cut Sunday Night. This week I'm going to be reviewing one of my top five all-time favorite movies, The Umbrellas of Cherbourg, Les Pères Pluvies de Cherbourg. This was shot in 1964 by French director Jacques Demy. This is actually part of a trilogy. It's the second film, the first one being Lola, which was Jacques Demy's directorial debut in 1961. And then in 1967, he did The Young Ladies of Rochefort, which is also starring one of the stars of this particular film, Catherine Deneuve, and then also her older sister, Françoise Dorléans. And what makes this movie so wonderful in so many ways is that it's a musical, but not just any musical. It is a jazz opera, and that everything in the entire film is sung. There isn't one single spoken word. Jacques Demy wrote and directed this picture, and he did all of the lyrics. He gave his lyrics to Michel Legrand, famed French composer, who did all of the music for this. And what is so unique about this is how harmoniously everything works together. The use of color, or lack thereof, is just so gorgeous in this, and how it plays in together with the characters who are very attractive, and then also with the backgrounds. Everything down from the finest detail of the fabric used in the umbrellas, everything is just absolutely gorgeous. The premise of this film is that you have a mother and daughter, the daughter played by Catherine Deneuve, her character is Genevieve. They are living in Cherbourg, France, it's just the two of them, and they have an umbrella shop. And Genevieve is very much in love with a young mechanic named Guy, who's played by Nino Castelnuovo. And with him, he's about to leave for his two-year stay and when he gets drafted into the French army for the war in Algiers. So on the eve of his departure, they get together, and of course there are consequences of this gathering of the two of them. And so Catherine Deneuve, or Genevieve's mother in this film, she hates Guy because he's poor, and then also the two of them are middle class, but she really has high aspirations for her daughter, and they're on the brink of losing the store. And there is a slightly older man, Kassar, who is played by Marc Michel, who is in the first of the trilogy, Lola. He was a jilted lover in that film. He makes another appearance in this one as a jewelry salesman, and with but a very, very high end. He has a lot of money. And so with this, he's looking for you know more jewels to purchase, and one of the jewels that he would like to purchase is Genevieve. And so this is where we come to the main meat of the story. Will Genevieve stay and wait for her love, Guy, or will she go off with Kassar? And with this, just how everything is shot is very, very well done. It's so beautiful. The storyline is a little light, but... You, know, you don't lose anything on it because just the use of color or the lack thereof and how it blends in with the wonderful music by Michel Legrand and just it's so well thought out and so beautiful. It's one of the most beautifully shot pieces of cinema that you could ever imagine watching and I can't emphasize how beautiful it is because it is. It's just gorgeous and many of the sets were actually painted and so when you're watching it, you see just the richness of the color and how everything just blends in with each other and everything matches so nicely because everything down to the fabric used for the umbrellas was planned out to go very harmoniously together to make just the perfect cinematic masterpiece. And with this, like when you're watching it, almost every shot would make just a gorgeous still. Unfortunately, how this film was originally shot, with the type of film that they use, it was very, very badly faded, even 10 years after its premiere. But fortunately, Jacques Demy's wife kept um, prints that he had made using like the three 
different colors. So it was sort of like a black and white print, but used with, I think it's cyan, magenta, and yellow, shot like that. So from that, they were able to make a really, really nice master print. So this film that we see today has been completely remastered in 1992, and we can see that rich, rich color that Jean Rabier originally shot and that Jacques Demy had intended for us to see. So if you ever get the opportunity to watch this, it comes on television fairly often, usually very late at night, unfortunately. Or if you see it in a video store, definitely pick it up. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous cinematography. You can't ask for a more beautiful film to watch. Just absolutely beautiful. And like the story is just, I don't want to give it away, but it's a great, great story. Even as light as it is, it's still just a joy to watch. And it's one of the most important films in French cinema, actually. Just the history behind it, what it says, and how it portrays post-war France. It's just, even though it is during like the Algerian War, it's, you know, it's just a beautiful, beautiful film. Definitely something you want to consider checking out. You won't be wasting your time. If you hate musicals, then, then I guess don't watch it. But if you just want a really beautiful story, something wonderful to see, good looking people, good music, then definitely give this one a go. So I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. Bye.